What's going on guys, it's your boy Brad back with another video. This video is gonna be a collaboration video with the wonderful Ashley Atkins. I think this is gonna be our third video that we've done together. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's always dope, it's always a great conversation and it's always great topics. Ashley came up with this idea, we wanted to tell you guys how to take notes in nursing school. Some things that we thought were important to keep in mind whenever you're approaching taking notes because uh, I don't know if you've heard me say it before, you probably have. Nursing school is a different beast, it's a different animal, it's not the same as prerequisites. So when, whenever you make the transition from prerequisites into nursing school, you kind of have to change the way that you do things. Change the way that you take notes, change the way that you study in order to be successful in nursing school so we thought that we would talk to you guys about how to take notes or at least how we do it give you a couple of tips take what you like leave what you don't I hope it's helpful guys let's go ahead and get into it nurse bass rocks so there's two ways that you can go about taking notes which is quite obvious it's gonna be common sense one you can either do it with a piece of paper and a pencil or you can do it on a laptop, whichever way you prefer. Me personally, I prefer doing it on a laptop. Uh, if you watch one of my previous videos, I'm talking about whenever a teacher is lecturing, they could be you know, going on PowerPoint, however they might do it, and it's like one slide after another, bam, 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 and they're just firing off at the speed of light. And if you've got a piece of paper and a pencil, it's kind of hard to keep up. However, if you're on a laptop, you can keep up, you can get down the important things that they're talking about and uh, keep it moving. But if you prefer, piece of paper and pencil and ain't nothing wrong with that. One suggestion that I do have for you is whenever you uh, get finished with a lecture, go home and type your notes up, please. Uh, if you're like me, unless unless you just have beautiful handwriting, if you're like me and you write like chicken scratch, especially whenever you have to write fast, then uh, it's, it's hard to study from. One of the biggest keys, uh, one of the biggest points that I have for you guys' advice is uh, organization. Your notes need to be organized, man. So if you prefer a piece of paper and pencil and you don't type them up, highlighters. Highlighters are a great way to do things. You can highlight keywords that uh, are in your notes, highlight definitions, highlight topics. I'm going to give you uh, an example right here of a highlighted notes. Just a way to keep it more organized, a way to keep it just, I don't know, it's, it's prettier. It's easier to study things whenever it's organized in a, in a neat way. If you're typing notes up, same thing. Uh, make it nice and organized. Have bolded headings, bolded uh, you know definitions, whatever it might be, whatever is more aesthetically pleasing. Because believe it or not, you can take an hour and transfer your notes from a piece of paper onto a laptop and make it nice and pretty and you will be able to study more efficiently. Guarantee that one, son. Write that one down, make a note of that, and make sure you highlight it. Either way you go about taking notes, guys, there's no real right or wrong way. There's just, you know, little tidbits that you can do in there to help yourself, you know, be better set up for success. The organization is my big take home key. Whether you're writing it down on a piece of paper or whether you are typing it up on a laptop, Take the extra time just to make it look nice. So guys, I hope these tips helped. Uh, you know, I know it's kind of a short and sweet video. I hope it helped. Make sure you check the description and go listen to Ashley Atkins' advice that she has for note taking. After all, this was her idea. I'm sure she's got something better for you than I do. And I hope she doesn't hate me for this because she hasn't publicly announced it yet on her YouTube page, but she just passed the NCLEX. You didn't hear it from me? Go congratulate her. And that's all the more reason that you should definitely check out her video because she's been through nursing school and she's passed it. So go check her video out. Thank you for taking the time to check mine out. Be Stay tuned for the next video I drop. I'm done, man. Peace.